G'day, I'm Gail, and welcome to day four of our decluttering challenge. We're just taking 15 minutes a day over seven days to get rid of some of the clothes and linens and shoes in our house to give us a fresh start. Our 15 minute starts now, so get your timer going. And I wanna thank you for those who have been commenting below. So thank you to Sarah. She did four wardrobes yesterday, well done. Today's a little bit of a harder day. We're gonna to touch some things that might you know, pull at the heartstrings. But if we want a good declutter, we can't just do the easy things. We've got to do some of the hard things as well. Our lives change, seasons come and go, and things change and sometimes our wardrobes and our linens presses don't change with us and the seasons. It could be something as simple as at the beginning of 2020, you had a guest bedroom, then coronavirus hit, and now that guest bedroom is a home office, you're now working from home permanently or part-time and you're not likely to have a guest bedroom anymore. But when you did that sudden change in March or April, what did you do with the linens? In the linen press. So life's moved on and we needed to get those extra bedding out and pass it on to someone else. Or it could be as simple as you used to have lots of bedding for the kids, they've left home, or maybe you had spare sheets from when the kids were toilet training and wetting the bed at night. They're now in high school, you don't need all those extras, pass them on. And while we're talking about bedding, just a little tip. A lot of Aussies will buy a packet of sheets and they'll get the, the fitted sheet, the one with the little um, corners on it, and they'll get a flat sheet. And a lot of Aussies just have the fitted sheet and a doona. They don't ever use the flat sheet. If you're one of those people who don't use the flat sheet, pop it in the bag and it can go off to somebody else who is in need and you can just keep what you actually use. Other things that life moves on that we might need to get out of our cupboards could be something really simple. Maybe we used to live in Canberra and it gets really cold in the winter now we're living in Townsville and this lovely jacket is just too hot. We're not going to use it. Life's moved on and that needs to go in the bag off to someone else who can use it. Another thing that life can change is our work situation. My last job, I worked in an office. I love getting dressed up. My high heels, my suits, my makeup. Now I wear high vis. I get dirty every day. Uh, high heels would be a WHS issue and so I don't wear the corporate wear anymore. It was a little hard for me a couple of years ago when I had to get all my suits and all my lovely skirts in a bag off for somebody else to wear. But when they stay in your wardrobe, they're not only taking up physical space, but they're taking up mental space. So by me passing this on, somebody else can enjoy wearing it. And maybe the hardest of all is our skinny clothes and our fat clothes. So sometimes we keep the fat clothes a little bit too long and sometimes we keep the skinny clothes a little bit too long. Now, I'm not one of those people who's getting bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller, but I know that over the years, um, particularly as women, our body shapes change and so what we could wear when we were 20 is not what we can wear when we're 40. And so it's a good idea to get rid of those things I've got family members who struggle with their weight and they say that the fat clothes and the skinny clothes just sit in the wardrobe and taunt you because you used to be that big or you used to be that small and you're not anymore. So everyone recommends that you just have the clothes that fit you now. Whatever size you're wearing uh, right now, get rid of the rest. If you lose a whole heap of Wait, you definitely deserve some new clothes. If you get a little bit bigger, one or two, unless it motivate, uh, get some new clothes when you've lost that weight again. So maybe not so easy as some of the other days that we've done, but let's get rid of those extra things that we've been holding on to that we don't really need. If you're not sure, if you look at it and you're like, oh, maybe just maybe I can wear that again, pop it back in pointy part of the coat hanger out and then maybe next time when you come back to do your decluttering it will your emotions will be ready to let that go um, but yeah having things that you don't fit you in your wardrobe is 
not good for your soul. So let's just move them on, someone else can wear them. So we've got a few minutes left and I'm pretty sure when you're doing your multiples the other day or turning your coat hangers around yesterday, there was probably one or two things that you didn't get rid of that you probably should have. Let's do that today. Have a sneak peek in your linen wardrobe, your linen press. Uh, what bedding are you no longer using? Let's pass that on. And let's encourage each other in the, in the comments below. What have you struggled with today? Let's encourage each other and help each other to get rid of those things that have an emotional attachment. Good job, everyone. I'm astounded at how much we're getting through and I'll catch you tomorrow for day five.